That's how you just know he's the GOAT, man. Like, when you, when you get gained up like that. Recently, Kendrick Lamar featured on Future and Metro Boomin's track Like That, in which he dissed Drake and J. Cole. Last week, J. Cole released a song called 7 Minute Drill, which was essentially his response. But within a few days of releasing that track, J. Cole made a huge mistake that really harmed his public image. So let He apologized, man. Stupid. Burn. Like, he's smarter than that, bro. Does he know? Does he know the industry he's in? Does he know what he does? Does he know the past of what he's done? Like, come on, bro. Does he know the history of the industry he's in? Why the f that's like the worst thing he could have done. You know what he could have did? Drop the song and just say nothing. He could have just did that. Just say nothing at all. Just don't address it. That's what I would have did. You know? Let's look but... into it. Also, by the way, my name is Manny Balls. So if you're new here and you like music-related content, feel free to stick around because I'm going to post a... Yeah, what does Rick Ross have on Drake? <laughs> new video every Sunday at 12 p.m. CST this year. So stick around. Now let's continue. If you're unaware of the situation, it all started on March 22nd of 2024 when Future, Metro Boomin, and Kendrick Lamar released the song Like That. On Kendrick's verse, he took multiple shots at Drake and J. Cole, constantly referencing their collab song First Person Shooter. Kendrick said things like S Sneak Dissin, First Person Shooter, I, I hope they came with three switches, I crash out, fuck the rap. Three, it's just big me. Now most of the disses on this motherfuck the big three, nigga, it's just big me, nigga, bum song are targeted at drake but he definitely had j cole in his crosshairs as well lines like if you walk around with that stick it ain't andre 3k were clearly meant for cole because of his song stick where he says i'll treat a ride through the hood like a hike through the woods got a stick that i take with me the main reason kendrick went after cole in the first place is because on the song first person shooter j cole said things like a lot of people debating my numeral not the three not the two i'm the uno he also said love when they argue the hardest mc is it, it k Dot is Aubrey or me. We the big three like we started a league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali, nigga. K Dot is it Aubrey or me? We the big three like we started a league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. So basically, Cole was saying he felt like the best out of all three. Like on that last, I ain't gonna lie, Maddie Balls. Like you're not reading that shit with no flavor, no f no twang, no twang to it. Just reading it like normal. Why you gotta read that shit like he did it, nigga? Like what the fuck? We the big three like we started a league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. Nigga, that's how you should be reading it. Nigga, reading it with no twang, no flavor, just plain, bro. Come on, dude. The fuck? Line especially because he directly compares himself to Drake and Kendrick, but then says he feels like Muhammad Ali since Ali's nickname was the greatest. Not only this, but Drake said, who's the goat? Like a kid that act bad from January to November, it's just you and Cole. Completely excluding Kendrick, which is most likely why Kendrick felt the need to respond. With lines like this from First Person Shooter, Lines like, people clicking up but cannot be legit from Kendrick are very clearly shots at both Drake and Cole. But I actually kind of lied earlier because Kendrick and Cole's feud has been going on for a bit longer than just first person shooter. I explained the whole situation in my previous video on this subject, so I'll link that down below if you want the whole backstory. But basically, Cole and Kendrick have been sending subliminals at one another for a while. However, something important to note is that J. Cole said that despite how competitive he used to be, lately he's wanted to focus on building relationships with people like Drake and Kendrick rather than competing with them because I think I was so competitive I don't know how they would feel you have to talk to them but I know for myself <clears throat> I was so competitive early on that like even though we were all friends I would say we were all friends and friendly like I wasn't uh I've never been a reach out you know what I mean like I never been a I never been that person you know what I mean especially when there's co competition involved because it's like nigga, like, I'm over here doing what I do you know what I mean? It's almost like working out together. I, I, I would, you know, I don't want to be like, damn, I never fucked, I mean, we never kicked it. You know what I mean? Like, we never really even did nothing. So like, I, I'm, I'm at that point where it's like, I'm more interested in the genuine relationship than before I was interested in the competition. Before I was just interested in like putting pressure or responding to pressure. You know what I mean? But after Kendrick dissed him recently, that pressure was put back on Cole to respond. Everyone was excited to hear some fire new diss songs from Drake, Cole, Kendrick, and everybody else involved. And for a brief moment, that's kind of what they got from J. Cole. On April 5th of 2024, J. Cole released a surprise album called Might Delete Later. Everyone was listening through the album expecting to hear a Kendrick diss. And at the very end of the album, on the last song, there it was. 
Also, a lot of people have said there's shots throughout the entire album, but the most direct ones came at the end, so that's what I'm gonna focus on for this video. On the song Seven Minute Drill, J. Cole sent a few shots back at Kendrick. J. Cole said, I got a phone call, they say that somebody dissing. You want some attention, it come with extensions. Cole starts off clearly addressing Kendrick's like that verse in the hook, and then digs more into it in the first verse. He's still doing shows, but fell off like the Simpsons. They say your first shit was classic, your last shit was tragic, your second shit put niggas to sleep but they gassed it, your third shit was massive and that was your prime, I was trailing right behind that. Fuck, I was trailing right behind that. Just now hit mine. Now I'm front of the line with a comfortable lead. How ironic. Seems like got it. Now you want some with me. That shit hard, man. <laughs> no, I gotta go there. I gotta go through that shit again. That's hard, bro. More into it. In the That's hard, course. bro. He's still doing shows, but fell off like the same. He's still doing shows, but he's. No, fuck. He's still doing shows, but fell off like the Simpsons. Your first shit was classic. Your last shit was tragic. Your second shit put niggas to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third shit was massive, and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind, and I just now hit mine. Now I'm falling on front of the line with a comfortable lead. How ironic. As soon as I got it, now you want shit with me, nigga. Simpsons, your first album was classic. Your last album was tragic. Your second album put people to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third album was massive, and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind, and I just now hit mine. Now now I'm front of the line with a comfortable lead. How ironic, as soon as I got it, now he wants something with me. On this line, Cole says that Good Kid Mad City was a classic, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers was bad, and said that damn was his prime. But he also said that To Pimp a Butterfly put people to sleep but was gassed, which many people thought was just a straight up lie. That album has extremely high critical acclaim and many people believe it's Kendrick's best album. A few lines later, Cole said, he averaged in one hard verse like every 30 months or something. If he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't. He averaged every one, he averaged one hard verse every 30 months or something. If he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't be discussing him. Man, why do you have to apologize, bro? I can't even listen to that song the same, bro. Like, why the fuck would he do that? You dumb bitch. Like, it's why disgusting. would you do that? Dude? A lot of people weren't a fan of this line either because Kendrick is known for taking his time with his music, preferring quality over quantity. I'm like, what? Is that like an insult? Like, what? I don't know what diss that is. Like, are you saying that you a loser because you took more time to make more albums or... Or what? Cole continued in the second verse to say, My text flooded with the hunger for a toxic reply. I'm hesitant, I love my brother, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm powered up for real, that would feel like swatting a fly. Four albums in 12 years, I can divide. He said something here that will be very important soon that people really wanted him to reply, but on the other hand, he was hesitant because he has love for Kendrick. Obviously, there were more disses throughout the entire song, and debatably, even more throughout the album, but this is what really matters and was the most direct. After this track dropped, there was a huge divide in the hip-hop community when it came to the opinion on who was winning the beef. Pro Cole fans said that Kendrick wasn't even saying anything in his diss, and pro Kendrick fans said Cole just lied on his diss track when he said things like, if he wasn't dissing, we wouldn't be discussing him. I let AI play in my week, and I have zero. If he, if he wasn't dissing, then we wouldn't be discussing him. Stream lagging, bro. LOL. Another interesting thing to note is that J. Cole was mirroring some of the lines from Jay-Z's Takeover, which was a Nas diss back when they were beefing. However, many people also said that since Nas's response to Takeover was Ether, and they believe that Ether was the best song out of the battle, that Cole was about to get ethered by Kendrick. Basically, both fan bases were extremely divided and they were arguing and debating over whose diss was better. But at the end of the goddamn day, I'm taking this over Kendrick's diss. And I'm not even saying that because Kate, I was talking about Drake, nigga. I'm saying that because this mother Kendrick is a little ass nigga. J. Cole diss. Ironic. <laughs> Ironic. This nigga calling somebody little. Ironic as fuck, bro. What the fuck? Being boring is like the core W Max though. Could make most of J. Cole's catalog. Because I agree with so them. I agree with them, bro. W Max, bro. J. Cole won until he said sorry. <laughs> the way this line is kind of projection. But then something happened that would make it much easier for everybody to take a side. Shortly after releasing his diss track, J. Cole decided to apologize at a live show for what he said. So I'm so proud of that project. <sighs> this was, yo, this was, yo, if you like J. Cole, if you're a J. Cole fan, man, this was 9-11, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This was 9-11, bro. This was, this was our 9-11, bro. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, why the fuck would he do this, dude? Like, he couldn't even wait for the ether to come out. He just, he just folded, nigga, and just got in his knees, man. 
couldn't even go no more, man. He knew what was coming. He knew it was coming. <laughs> he must have knew something, bro. Because what the fuck? He just backed out. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, bitch, boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking God. Text flooded, I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime, right? So I felt conflicted, because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like, get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like, jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly but at the end of the day and I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk that shit don't sit right with my spirit that shit make me feel that shit disrupts my fucking peace so basically Cole said he didn't mean anything he said on the diss track he said he loves and respects Kendrick and Drake and he doesn't want to be dissing them he's saying that he likes Kendrick's music so his heart really isn't in it which was honestly pretty evident on his diss track and even Anthony Fantano called it in his review why is Cole firing back at Kendrick with this pew 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 like synth trap beat this does not sound hard convincing and even Cole's vocal delivery off the bat in the song is half-hearted and underwhelming he clearly didn't want to do this after cole apologized he even said he was going to take the song off of streaming because it was all love however what j cole probably didn't expect was the crazy amount of backlash he would get online after apologizing to kendrick when this happened pretty much everyone started clowning on j cole and i can't lie a lot of the memes were pretty funny they were even comparing j cole <laughs> hell no nah, man he said he's, he's showing up in his fucking dream like the boogeyman nigga that's crazy man <laughs> But the discourse online, although people were still divided, seemed to go something like this. A lot of people were actually- Nah man, he, he must have had a- he must have been having nightmares about what the fucking response was gonna be, bro. Cause what the fuck, bro? Very upset at J. Cole for responding like this. Fellow rapper Mick Jenkins said, As a rapper's rapper, as a competitor, I am surprised, I am disgusted, I am disappointed. Academics said, J. Cole just gave Kendrick Lamar a buy round in the battle. Kendrick don't even gotta drop another song. WTF is going on. We've never seen this in the history of rap. And well, one half- Oh God, he forgets that he's a rapper. He forgot that he was a rapper, nigga. Nigga was a fan of Nas and Jay-Z, man. He sat outside Jay-Z's office, nigga. He forgot who he, like, nigga, he was a fan of rap. So how the fuck would he do this? Why, why what, what the fuck? Why would he do that, nigga? If he, he knows how this shit's supposed to go. But he, like, I just don't get it, bro. Like, it doesn't, it's not computing in my mind why the fuck he would do this, nigga. I, I would understand if he was a new rapper, you know, he didn't know shit. But like, dude, you are a fucking seasoned rapper, nigga. Like, dude, one of the biggest, and you did this shit. Apologizing. What the fuck, dude? He could have just said nothing, like he always does. He doesn't say shit. He should have just did the that. Fandom was very so upset. dumb, bro. The so stupid. And Cole, so the stupid. Kendrick just didn't sit right in your spirit was because you knew you was lying, okay? You knew you didn't feel like that about Kendrick's music. You are an artist, a true MC, so there is not too many people who appreciate what Kendrick Lamar does as much as you do. A handful of J. Cole fans believed that he was taking the high road and were proud of him for doing that. They pointed things out like how J. Cole is nearly 40 years old and probably doesn't feel like dissing people back and forth for no reason, especially when he doesn't feel any type of way about about Kendrick. However, there is one thing that understandably caused a few people. If he felt that way, then he should have guess what? You know what he if he if he felt that way, you know what he should have did? Just never fucking replied then. He should have just never did that. Cuz him putting that shit out and then turning around and saying sorry fucked everything up. He if he felt that way, he should have just never said anything. Simple. Just say nothing and it will go away. Just don't say anything, nigga, cuz now you look even worse, bro. Like, it's just dumb. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. He's too smart for that shit. See, J. Cole like, is what the fuck, bro? That he is the best rapper and that he would slaughter any rapper that steps well, to Well, now him. he's not, bro. Speaking, of course. And not just on first-person shooter, like I mentioned earlier, but on, like, pretty much every song he's ever put out. Like on Johnny P's Caddy when he said, on God, the best rapper alive. Headshot, now go and ask the best rappers that died. Or on Fire Squad when he said, ain't a way around it no more. I'm the greatest. 
a lot of people sat on the throne i am the latest or even on his latest album when he said you don't want no smoke with me i'm one of them ones hop on a song with whoever i ain't ducking no one-on-ones or on january 28th back in the day when he directly elevated himself above kendrick and drake saying you might be drizzy drake or kendrick lamar but check your birthday you ain't the god cole the god with all of this big talk from Cole throughout his entire career, everyone in the rap community expected him to respond with some heat. He has claimed he is the best rapper on many occasions and said that he could destroy any rapper in a battle of rhymes. But when he was finally challenged by Kendrick Lamar, he backed down. The biggest flaw Absolutely. in the whole thing is like, if you're gonna call yourself Muhammad Ali and you're gonna step into the ring, you can't like throw one jab and then just back out. A absolutely. And I completely agree with you. Just be like J. Cole has been inviting an aggressor for a long time. The top comment on this video was he wanted smoke, hinted at being a higher ranking than KDOT for years, made a half ass diss, then oh. basically explained the main reason why most people are upset at Cole for this. I think one person summed up the public opinion on the situation best when they said, man, on one hand, you gotta respect the honesty and sincerity. On the other hand, we all knew it wasn't that deep between Kendrick and Cole, and most of us were just eager to hear some competitive sparring. Regardless of the public opinion or whether or not it was cool to apologize, one thing was for sure, and that was that Kendrick had won the beef. Without a single tweet, post, show, or word from Kendrick since his like that diss, J. Cole, although Kendrick didn't even have a chance to respond to 7 Minute Drill. Fans were quick to point out all of the rappers that had apologized to Kendrick, saying that he now has another rapper bowing down to him. Those aren't my words, that's just someone off Twitter. But people also pointed out Kendrick's lines on the Heart Part 4, where he said, My fans can't wait for me to sun you punk ass and crush your whole little sh I'll big pun you punk ass, you a scared little b Tiptoeing around my name, you lame. And when I get at you, homie, don't tell me you was just playing. Now, these lines weren't directed at Cole at the time, but they definitely could apply to the situation. And I'm going to toss my opinion in here real quick. I don't think this is nearly as serious as some people think it is. I definitely understand how it's disappointing, but this isn't going to ruin J. Cole's career like some have said. However, it's there not, is but like, that is clear, and it's that Kendrick. It's going to be like the fucking Pusha T Drake shit, bro. Like, it didn't ruin his career whatsoever, but, like, niggas still bring it up. It's probably gonna be like that. Destroy J. Cole in this brief beef without even saying a word. But there was still one loose end. DJ Academics apparently sent this situation to Drake, and this is what he heard back. I sent the video of what this nigga did. He said, well, please don't do no shit like this. Please don't apologize. And police! Please, don't Drake. If he, if, he, if he did shit like that, I would actually, like... I, nah, yo, if he did that, dude, oh, dude, dude, like this. dude, and it's the only thing I say, drink last of me. <laughs> <laughs> there was even a whiteboard backstage at one of Drake's shows that said, the rap game will never be at peace. There will always be competition. And as long as there's competition, there will never be peace. Everyone wants to be the one. So even though J. Cole has seemingly dropped out of the race, it seems like Drake still intends to get back at Kendrick. Make sure to subscribe and stick around for when that happens. I'll probably talk about it. Bye. Did he talk about it? Because it happened already.